What's up out there? This is generally not the kind of content that I produce on this channel, but I think this is too good to pass up. I watched a little bit of the uh, Dragon Age, the Veil Guard. Uh, you've got this, uh, what is it? The reveal trailer. And then there's like a, a gameplay trailer. I want to put my two cents on this because this is, it's incredibly baffling to me. Like it's mind blowing that this got created. So let's take a look. This is a little two minute trailer. So right off the bat, now I did play the original Dragon Age Origins, but I've not played the other two. The only thing I remember about Origins, there's three things that I remember. Number one, there was a quest that never went away because I didn't buy the DLC. So I would just periodically go to the place every so often and be like, oh yeah, I didn't buy the DLC. So it was kind of a headache. They advertised that you had unlimited levels, but what they didn't tell you is that the monsters didn't respawn, so you only had so many monsters, so you couldn't really over-level. So you just clear out an area, and that was it. Nothing respawned. And then the third thing that I remember is that um, the final boss, I fought that dragon for like 30 minutes or something. Like I had this massive fight. The mobs ended, or the trash mobs ended up killing me. Come find out there was like three uh, big arrows you could shoot into it, and that's all you had to do. Um, so like I had that, that's like all I remember. I don't really remember the story. The game was, it was okay, but, and then I saw the other two and, and they looked the part, they looked like they belonged. And this, I, I am actually just mind blown by how wildly different everything is with this. Not, not the game, not the setting, just I want to talk about it because this is what kind of brings me here. There is so many different things in this trailer that just all feel completely out of place. Not, not only just out of place in dragon age, but like this feels like such a weird mix of stuff altogether. And it's just mind blowing how they, a group of people put this together and released this and said, this is good. This is what people want. So it starts off, it looks okay. You know, you've got like this weird, uh, I don't know, this is a bridge from maybe Star Trek or something like that. You've got the floating city. Uh, this looks like maybe a Warhammer or something like that. Like, I feel like I've seen this before. The one Star Wars movie, um, the things that were up in orbit, Star Wars Rogue One had the big rings, things like this, or it's either Rogue One or it's Halo that I'm thinking of had this little thing up here. And then you've got like old fishing boats and stuff. Uh, then you've got these dudes from like the mummy, uh, the mummy movie with their little swords like that. And then this crossbow that looks more like uh, cyber, not cyberpunk, but steampunk. This all looks like brass steampunk type stuff. This is what really got me is the announcement cards for people. This reminds me of um, like a comic book or something like just totally doesn't fit anything else that's in here. The colors don't fit. The style doesn't fit like this reminds me of, uh, um, oh, God, uh, Snatch or whatever. The dude that makes the, that movie um, lock stock and two smoking barrels. This looks like the style that he would use. Uh, Guy Ritchie. This looks like a Guy Ritchie style style thing here. What are you thinking? And then you've got like Lord of the Rings dwa dwarves. And this might be a little bit loud. And then you've got like, of course, you got that coming up again. The comic book style. This, I don't know. This looks. Um. Uh, uh, the the uh, oh god, Bioshock Infinite. This, that scene reminds me of Bioshock Infinite. If you come in here, uh, back here, back, back, back. Uh, this whole thing with like the flowers and all that, like this is kind of the Bioshock Infinite vibe. This reminds me of, uh, there's some other game. Um, of course, this one here, oh God. There's another movie that this just totally reminds me of or a different video game or something. But like this, this is a completely different vibe than what was just on the screen. Like this is completely different than what was there. Then you've got Treasure Hunter Tomb Raider type situation with Magic Guy. Uh, I, I don't know. <laughs> this kind of reminds me of uh, Loki or something like that. And then, I don't know, this is uh, World of Warcraft. I don't know. Like there's so many weird tone changes throughout this whole thing. 
And then this is Monster Hunter. Like, this is straight up Monster Hunter. This is not... Like, none of these things combine together. They're just so all over the place. I'm, I'm just mind blown at how weirdly different all of this is together. Like, none of it fits together. None of it goes together in any way, shape, or form. And are we going to get to the, uh, maybe the other part? Then there's like an alien invasion part that might be in the, the, f the combat section. Like, is this Independence Day? Or are we looking at uh, the Independence Day movie? Oh, there's a dragon, but that looks like the Monster Hunter dragon. And, I, I, dude, I, I just, um, I can't believe that they, human beings put this together and thought that this was okay. Like none of this looks okay. <laughs> it just, that is straight up monster hunter. How do you put it? There's the little boat out in the yard. There's the Island and everything. How do you combine all these things together that are just not anywhere on the same realm and think that this is going to mesh together. I'm sitting here looking at this trailer and I'm like, my God, none of this matches. None of it matches. None of it goes together. There's not one cohesive thing in this entire trailer. And then you watch the gameplay trailer or the gameplay part. And there's like uh, aliens, uh, the, the demons or whatever coming from some other realm or something that just looked like an alien invasion. And I'm like, man, none of this, like none of this. It looks to me like they took a whole bunch of different people and said, you got, you all go work on something different and come back with your ideas, and then we're gonna smash it into a game. That's what this looks like. It looks, it just, it, uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm in awe at how wildly different all the different pieces of this go. It, it's, it's like going to the grocery store and sending a group of people into different aisles and saying, bring it all together. And you got somebody that brought coffee, somebody that brought pizza, somebody that brought uh, cake mix, somebody else may, that maybe they brought some eggs. Maybe somebody brought some food dye. Maybe somebody brought like a jump rope or something and they just all smashed it together, threw it in the oven. And this is what came out. I am just mind blown at how wildly different all of this is. And I've been enjoying all the different people's takes on it. Looking at Co Carnage's face. If you haven't watched it, go look at Co Carnage's face. He's looking at this video and he's just like totally dumbfounded at <laughs> what he's looking at. And I'm like, dude, I'm right there with you, man. I don't get it either. This is some of the most mind blowing stuff that I've seen. It is wild. But anyway, I had to weigh in on this because it's, it's just <laughs> it's mind blowing. Anyway, that's going to do it for this one. We'll catch you on the next one. Take care.